How are your officers doing? They're devastated. This is our community. Highland Park's police and fire chiefs say many of their staff were in the parade. Their families lined the sidewalks. We had a couple firefighters. They knew their families were right there where this shoot, shooting was happening. Uh, so they didn't know whether or not they'd pick up a family member. Their families were at the parade. The Highland Park tragedy was the 309th mass shooting in the United States this year, just this year, according to the Gun Violence Archive. So let's discuss with retired Seattle Police Chief Carmen Best, who spent more than 25 years with the department. She's also an MSNBC law enforcement analyst. Chief, I'm so glad you're here tonight. I, I want to get law enforcement perspective. Are the existing state gun laws enough enough for, for police to do their jobs. Well, Stephanie, we need more. I don't think it's a secret. Just as you just mentioned, we've had over 300 mass shootings this year alone. 22,730 people died this year alone for gunfire. 900 children under the age of 18 died for gunfire. On that 4th of July weekend, 220 people killed by gunfire and another 570 injured. So we know that we need more. It's not a one size fits all answer. It needs to be more legislation, more you know, laws to help us keep the iron pipeline down, more laws regarding ghost guns, you know, more red flag laws and ways to enforce them. It's going to be a comprehensive, um, you know, answer to make sure that we can reduce the gun violence. And it's really at epidemic levels right now. So we need all hands on deck in every way. And yes, uh, stronger, more stringent laws would be helpful. Beyond the laws, though, do police have the tools to combat increase in gun violence? I mean, the killer was on a rooftop in Highland Park with a high powered rifle when law enforcement was all around. And people keep saying, why aren't police doing more? Do they even have the tools to do more? Well, there's no, there's no question, you know, we're outgunned in that regard. You know, and the fact that a, a kid uh, under the age of 21 can go get a firearm or go get an assault weapon, uh, which is better uh, armed than most police officers, you know, quite frankly, it scares me. You know, I was a police chief in a major city, uh, and the thought that, you know, someone uh, could arm themselves, 18-year-old, with better weaponry than most officers have. It's a very scary thought, you know, and I just don't believe that uh, young people should be able to, uh, under the age of 21, should be able to just go buy an assault rifle. I don't know why anyone would. I served in the military. You know, we were trained and we knew how to use uh, rifles, and we still had very stringent rules around when and how we carried them. I can't even imagine why my neighbor would need to go get an assault weapon uh, and actually be, have more firepower uh, than most police officers or have a magazine that can hold, you know, dozens of rounds so that they can kill multiple people. If you can't hit an animal or a deer or whatever you're hunting for uh, in your first two or three rounds, get another hobby. This isn't the thing for you. So I, I feel like the officers truly are outgunned in many ways uh, and it makes us less safe. It makes us less safe. And we are hearing that from a woman who spent her career in law enforcement. Carmen, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I appreciate it.